Hey everyone, this is Lori with Rose Joy Designs in North Carolina. I'm going to demonstrate how to apply top coat. Now I'm going to be using Gator Hide, but you can do this with any of the Dixie Belle clear coats as well. So I'm going to use a blue sponge for good application. I pour a little bit into the bowl. I'm going to use my uh, Mr. Bottle. And then after it's dried two hours, I'm going to use the finishing pad to go over it to smooth out uh, any imperfections and then I'll buff it up nice. As you can see, these are massive chests of drawers. We have two of them that we've done and um, it's really important when you're putting this on that you have good lighting so that you can see where you've been, especially on lighter surfaces. And then also kind of being down at eye level helps as well. Okay, first what I like to do is I like to mist my blue sponge slightly just to get it a little damp, not soaking wet. Now I'm going to dip the blue sponge into the top coat. Now that's too much, so I'm going to wipe it off on the sides so you have about that much on there. What I like to do is I start in the middle and slowly move outward. Come back to the middle and go out to the other side, not pressing too hard. And then I'll go all the way back down again, one long stroke. I'll dip it again this time, wipe off the excess. I'll start in the middle, move slow, back to the middle. Now I like to go down where there's a little bit of excess in between the two rows. And then I'll go down one more time to get any of the excess that's hanging out there. You don't want the top coat to pull anywhere. Okay, so now that I have done a couple of rows, I wouldn't wanna go back and do anything on those unless you see a little bit of pulling like I do here. I'm just gonna very lightly go down this little edge because I saw some pulling where I had a little too much on the, the corner there. Now that my sponge has been dipped several times, I don't need to dip it every time. It's got a good amount in it, and so I'm just going to keep going. It's already starting to dry and set up. I can wait two hours to either do another coat, but this is actually the second coat, so I'll probably leave it at that because it's not a high traffic area, but if it was a high traffic area like a dining room table, a buffet, um, a dresser, um, not a chest of drawers, but a dresser, um, I would do three coats just to give that, give that added durability. Okay, thank you so much for watching and joining us today, and bye for now.